Hey, welcome back, guys. <clears throat> I thought I'd make a just a brief video just to go over something that happened to me over the weekend. I was reading an article on a uh, distribution called Chapeau Linux based on Fedora. And uh, the article was a, a glowing recommendation. Um, so I thought I would give it a try. I have had looked at it once before and um, not, I'm not a big Fedora fan although Fedora has legions of followers um, but I had tried it in the past and I preferred um, Ubuntu, Debian or Arch based distributions but after reading this article and going through the website I thought I'd give it a try and so I downloaded it, I burned it to a uh, USB and I went through the installation process. Now it uses GNOME desktop and when I went through the installation process it's a little bit different than uh, Arch or Debian or uh, Manjaro, um, Ubuntu. Um, so I went through the install process and I didn't designate a bootloader install location and I I was in the middle of uh, doing several things at the time and I uh, finished the install without designating a bootloader location or if if I did uh, it went by me because um, I finished the install and booted into Chapeau and found that Chapeau had basically taken over my entire system it it overwrote my uh, MBR so that um, n none of, m well, my controlling bootloader at the time, prior to the Chapeau install, was um, Anturgos. And I was very happy with that, and uh, my intention was to keep that. Um, and it overrode it uh, so that Chapeau became the controlling bootloader and it um, basically set up a grub screen where all my other distributions were there uh, but and Windows was also there and untouched I could I could uh, I could initiate Windows with no problem at all the big problem was that I had a couple of uh, SSDs inside this machine that I had uh, installed Mac OS, the new OS Sierra. And if any of you have ever done a Hackintosh install, <clears throat> you'll know that it's quite a bit of work in order to get it right. It uses the uh, Clover bootloader. Um, and so, lo and behold, Chapeau had overwritten my Mac OS uh, Sierra install it had overwritten the bootloader and with uh, the with the Clover bootloader that's not a good thing um, so therefore neither of my uh, Mac SSDs uh, would boot at all so I had to basically I spent uh, a fair amount of time between yesterday and the, and today uh, just resurrect, resurrecting my system and getting it set up the way I wanted it. I had to uh, basically reinstall Clover, the Clover bootloader, and then do quite a bit of reconfiguration uh, to get those running again, which I have. So while I was at it, I wiped my Linux SSD clean and uh, <clears throat> and I reinstalled what I wanted. Uh, and I'll, I'll go through that with you. Right now, I have, this is my <clears throat> Gparted configuration. This is my main disk. Uh, it's almost a gigabyte. It's an SSD and I have Mac OS Sierra running it's running properly again 
I didn't have to load anything up. All I had to do was reload the bootloader. Everything else was there. But there are some configuration issues that enable a lot of the Mac features that I had to reconfigure. Um, so that's this number uh, one. Number two is a backup of Mac OS Sierra. Then I have Windows on another SSD, as you can see. And then my Linux SSD has uh, Lubuntu 16.10, Debian testing, and Turgos with LXDE. And what I did on that is I, I installed Anturgos with OpenBox. And then I installed LXDE right on top of that, which works out perfectly. Um, and then, for, but for my main system right now, I'm back to running Manjaro. The new Manjaro 1610 Fringilla um, <clears throat> was released. And so that's occupying the number one spot on my machine uh, let's see so you can see uh, I've got Manjaro 1610 Fringilla with the 4.4 the long-term support the kernel um, and it's running fine uh, I don't anticipate any problems everything looks and feels terrific um, so the moral of the story is be very careful when you're doing an install that you designate everything properly. That was a shame on me for letting that take over my boot, uh, my grub, but um, <clears throat> lesson learned. Uh, in the meantime, if I, I'll, I'll make a comment on Fedora. It, it uses the GNOME desktop. It's, uh, I, you know, it's if you if you normally use Fedora. Uh, and you want to try Chapeau, which is a variation of Fedora. It's Chapeau 24. I'm sure it's a terrific operating system. Uh, it's just not my cup of tea. So I'm back to Arch, Debian, and Ubuntu. Uh, so that is it for this short video, guys. Uh, I'll be doing a couple more videos within the next couple days. And I uh, just want to just go over a couple of things. I moved the uh, whisker menu to the right and I'm using a simplified menu the simplified XFCE menu here um, and I've got a few commonly used applications right in my panel uh, so that's working out well for me. As I said everything installed properly uh, Manjaro 1610 um, I'm running the XFCE, the flagship version, which is running fine. So, guys, that is it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.